know what time it is right now. In the morning. Welcome to the Amsterdam vlog. Roller tapes. Me and Harsing got off the plane, the airport was absolutely massive and when we were in... 5 euro 50 for a cup. There was a really rude man in Manchester airport, it was so strange. I thought it was meant to be delayed by an hour and then it wasn't. We ran to our gate, rushed getting our luggage because we just couldn't find it, it was really confusing. Got the metro, we've kind of sorted the metro out and then got the metro to the centre station and then got another metro to our hotel which is actually kind of nice to drop our luggage off so we're not like dragging it about and then we've just got a train ticket back to central station but we got like a day ticket because it was cheaper um, and we just stopped off at this pancake kind of cafe thing we haven't actually seen our hotel room yet because it's not ready till three i'm just gonna get a sweet one i might get strawberries and nutella what fun is that blackberry yeah i get that one One thing that me and Harris have seen is the amount of bikes that are here is insane. What the hell? Found the canal. The train's are actually really helpful. Like our hotel is literally like a, a two-minute metro and it's really easy to work as well. We're also gonna find like the pattern. What other shops are they? Pata. Stussy, I'll end. I don't think there's a lot of Well, it opens at 1 and it's half 12, so that's absolutely great. <laughs> oh, is it not open? It opens at 1 till 5. The opening times here are not like the ones in the UK. Forgot what? Quite a lot. Socks. I, know them socks. I need some socks. Harrison's <laughs> family cats. Harrison's <laughs> taste some cheese. Which one's your favourite? Back roast, goat cheese. Really? Yeah, just one of those. It's like a huge cheese place. Oh my god, Harrison, look at this. They make it in there. It's like there's loads of these. We've seen like loads of cheese, like fat cheese and Harrison's obsessive cheese, so we just had to come in. You even have a green pesto one. That one, I love garlic anything, so I love that. I don't know about truffle. Get that one's nice because I tried that one. Look at that blue one. Look at that blue one. You can eat mouldy cheese. I know. That's what blue cheese is, it's mouldy. Try that one. Cheesy. Try that one. The goat gold one. That's the one that the guy bought. Spicy. It's a smoked jalapeno one. Oh, is it? Oh. That's the gold one. Oh. Try this one, it's red pesto. Looks a bit sick now. <laughs> so, we've arrived at the hotel. We're staying at, what's it called? The Tribe Hotel. Tribe. Amsterdam City yeah. Hotel. It's right next to the metro, which is really good. But I'm gonna give you a little tour because it, it kind of exceeded our expectations. And if you saw my birthday video, and um, we said it's Dakota, and I actually think it's like on the same level as Dakota, Harrison actually prefers it. So you'll come in, and it's obviously like just a classic layout, but the bathroom 
is so nice. This wasn't like a very expensive hotel like from Saddam as well. And then, yes, yeah, so his toilet. We get like little bathrobes. And then the shower, it's all like burgundy. Is this bathroom kind of reminds me of like a, a bigger version of our Brussels one. It's got speakers in the roof. Has it? Yeah. Oh my God, with speakers in the roof. So then there's a big mirror and then we found an ironing board, which we would never use, but because all our stuff's creased in the suitcase, we will need to use it. And then when you come in, there's a Netflix, which has YouTube and Netflix, which Dakota literally had no channels on it whatsoever. So we literally couldn't watch anything. And then the bed is, is it Queen? It's a queen one, so it's not as it's not as big, but like it's comfy, but it's really high. When you got a little desk with the bathrobes in here, this little chair. This is just a view, but obviously we're not in right in the centre. Yeah. And then in here we've got a safe, a fridge, and then kettle, hot chocolate machine. We got given a free drink as well, and the bar is actually really nice. What passed on the way here? I'm actually really happy we're staying here because we booked. Oh, I didn't even mention this. So Harrison booked hotel a few months ago. We only booked this hotel like four days ago and he realised he booked it in the most unsafe place of Amsterdam. We had to quickly change it because we were looking at photos and we were like, oh my God, like we just rushed into it. So we cancelled that and then booked this. to what is what museum is it body world museum which is like which is like all the organs and you can see all the insides of them and stuff and then we're gonna get some food i literally got ready so i had to put makeup on did my hair and i'm wearing the same top but i'm just wearing my urban trousers one thing about amsterdam is that metros are so easy to use like not like brussels that was really difficult um, and the hotel is just in such good location and i've pretty much said that already Right, so whilst Harrison's in the shower, I didn't actually show a lot of like after what we did yesterday or like after the museum, but it's because I did film a tiny bit, but the quality was just really bad. Today's a new day, so um, me and Harrison are gonna go almost for like a picnic date for breakfast, so we're gonna go get a load of stuff and like sit by the canal. I think we're gonna go to the sex museum today. I'm wearing this today, I've got my Kaya's top on and just my urban outfit is cargo's just the same ones as yesterday, but in a different colour. <laughs> really bad that's like undrinkable right so it turns out the woman didn't put any um hazelnut sauce on no syrup in which we asked for and now she's put a lot in it actually tastes so much better it just tasted awful before but it's oat milk i've never had oat milk before so i think i've been transformed she paid over five pounds for that like not even your it's over five pounds Just for lunch, and um, Harrison's gonna get a brie sandwich and I'm gonna get hummus. Went to Urban Outfit, got some top, um, which I'll show you when I'm back, and then got Harrison 
like a face wash from us for his birthday and then the housing got on top as well. But we're gonna like sit down and have some food and then like figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. at this place called Tony's Chocolate and you like make your own chocolate. I found some one house and then I got hit by a bike. I've got the worst call going. So next day um, I need to actually update you properly but yeah we're going into here. So me and Hassan came in here thinking it was like a make your own chocolate which there is. It's like a woman around the corner. It's, this is at the cafe so now we're just going to grab some breakfast here because literally this is the first thing we've done today. So I was getting two croissants and like the chocolate sauce but then we're going to go around the corner. And make your own chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we've finished up. Me and Hassan are actually going to go find the store that you make your own chocolate in. Because you can make your own, like, you choose your flavours, packaging, colour, put a name on it, and stuff like that. Um, I've seen it on TikTok, so we're going to go find that now. But to be fair, that was actually a really nice breakfast. And it was actually cheaper than our breakfast yesterday. How have we missed it? Oh, um, never mind. It wasn't working. Me and Harrison just walked about 500 million miles to this 10k market, it's like street food. And we've been walking for literally like an hour. Harrison's joggers on and different trainers. We're off to the Anne Frank house and um, we paid tickets for this like in advance to see Anne Frank at 8 and then we're gonna get some food after and then just chill at the hotel because tomorrow's like the last half of full day. Yeah, I wasn't I'm not too surprised you weren't allowed to film so we weren't allowed to film obviously filming the Anne Frank house but I think like it was worth going. We actually thought it was gonna be like one room but it was like a full on house. Um, but it was actually really good. But yeah, it was definitely worth going. I think it was only like, did you pay children for me or not? Yeah. Literally like nine euros for me. I think it's more, I think it's around like 14 euros or 14 pounds whatever. But it was actually really good. And it's probably the most interesting like museum kind of thing we've been to. But we just need to go find some tea because we don't have any food. And I bought like a shitty Caesar salad. And it was, I just couldn't, I don't know why I spent that money on that. It's actually really, very, very expensive here. Yeah. Right, so today I'm wearing my black trousers and this urban outfit is top that I got. We got the bus from Nord to Zandam and it's like this, is it a city? It's like a little town on the outskirts of Amsterdam and it took us like half an hour to get on the bus but it's got like loads of these like weird infrastructure like building things and apparently it's quite nice so we just came here for like half a day before we get back to Amsterdam. It might not be as, it might not be as expensive here. Yeah and it's freezing. It's already freezing and I didn't even bring like a jumper or anything. I'm going to wrap out um, for dinner because it's the last night. But I've done my makeup for once. It looks really bad because I haven't really done it properly. But I'm wearing this dress from Zara. It's actually my favourite and it's the first time I've worn it and I bought it like six months ago. Um, this bag. I can't remember where it's from. Put a little thing now. Zara again, actually. Oh my god, this is all from Zara except for my shoes. I put a little thing. Um, the hotel is a mess. But we're off to this Chinese place called Sea Palace, and then we're gonna go to the Hilton to the Sky Bar after. So, this is gonna be fun. Look at these cute pop-ups. Oh, I like them. Mm -hmm, they're nice. They're really nice. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Mm. 
I'm at the restaurant and this restaurant has like a robot that like doesn't get moved. I'll try to get one on camera. I mean, how's the body some cocktails? It's a really disgusting angle. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you like everything we get. I know the start is too big. But it's really popular as well, like it's so busy. Don't forget, you have to book some hours to get one. What? You have to book a different table to get the robots delivered. I don't know. Yes, sir, the robots are Harrison is coming. Look, oh my god. Oh god, that is strong. Oh, you can fly in the dock. Thank you. It's like an egg. No, I think I'm going to have to take the other half of the yoghurt Oh Harrison, can you have this? So it's the next day, um, it's actually the 15th of September the first day We've literally just got home, we landed in Manchester about 6 o'clock I didn't film any of today only because was, we were basically just travelling for the whole of it Like we went for a really really nice breakfast at a place called Greenwoods which I found on TikTok A bit expensive but it was still really nice. The um, vlog bit of last night kind of cut off. It's a kind of a long story. So I was feeling ill. So we were going to go for like drinks on like a rooftop bar. Like, like I said, we never ended up going there because I just had such a bad headache. I went back to the hotel after the meal and literally went straight to sleep. Like I wasn't feeling well at all. The meal, like Sea Palace, the food was good. Like I get why everyone says the food is nice, but we had not the best experience to be honest. We kind of, we were saying, oh, we'll go out for one night for a nice meal. So obviously that was the night we were going out for a nice meal. And we were, you know, planning on having a really nice night. And don't get me wrong, like the food is nice and it's a nice place, it's lovely. But it was so understaffed, like half the restaurant wasn't even full. There was about three workers with this massive restaurant of people waiting to order. There were so many people, it was a big restaurant. We got there at eight ordered a drink you order it off your phone it came half an hour later and then we we're kind of getting rushed saying the kitchen's closing but we just got there so we ordered our food anyway came 40 minutes after we'd ordered it then ordered our mains came for it came 40 minutes after we ordered it yet half of the mains came 20 minutes for another like the noodles and the prawn crackers came when we'd finished like the sweet and sour chicken and stuff so it was a bit of a mess so obviously we weren't really happy because this place is very expensive like like the bill was not cheap at all plus i ordered a drink before our mains it never even came till about 35 minutes after i'd ordered it but at the time i was like i don't want it anymore like i'm leaving and then they were just a bit rude when people were complaining about it was just being really slow like there was no apology or anything and like you're paying all that money for like good service like i could get a really nice chinese down the road for 20 quid like you're paying for the service you're paying for the experience and like, the food was really nice but the service was just pretty appalling to be honest yeah it wasn't the best experience which is a bit of a shame because it was just a lot of money to spend on the one night we were gonna go for a meal but apart from that the holiday from amsterdam was amazing i really recommend the hotel tribe hotel so good honestly i cannot complain about one thing right next to the metro it's literally when I, I can't explain how close it is to Metro and all the transport and Amsterdam is so easy. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry that it was like, all over the place and like cut off. Thank you so much for watching.